As former President Jimmy Carter remains at home in hospice care tonight, people from across the mid-state are sharing stories about his remarkable life. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb introduces us to a Laverne man who wrote a song about the former president and got something back from Carter in return. You know, this is just some of the stuff I've got. Look inside this folder and out comes a simpler time. And this was Billy and myself. Uh, the Sprouts, Bobby and Billy the Sprouts on RCA. A time when Bobby Johnson, and, uh, with a Nashville record deal for the Sprouts in uh, hand, let's see what else they got. had some pretty cool friends. Jerry Lee Lewis, great balls of fire. You know who I'm talking about? It's Elvis. Fast forward a few years. But nobody's ever, you know, pays no attention when you get old, you know. <laughs> And Bobby remembers one of the songs he and Billy put together. Now listen to the words. About the president. He came down south from Georgia, from a town we know is quaint. He was on the news a whole lot. And they was giving him a lot of flack, you know, about uh, what he'd done, you know. They was having problems uh, with Russia. With all that on his shoulders, it takes a hell of a man. Go, Jimmy, go. It's it just something that fascinated me about him, the way they was, they said he wasn't no good, you know, he wasn't that great of a president, but to me, you know, he was doing the best he could. That's the way I looked at it. Bobby sent a 45 of the song to President Carter. That is his uh, signature, you know. And the president's office Jimmy sent says, this back. It was good of you to remember me with such thoughtful ways. With such thoughtful ways, kind of how Bobby looks back now on those days he memorialized in song. That's where it was. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Hmm. It's catchy. It is. Good for him. It That's is. awesome. That's just such a great story.